Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Happy Thursday. If it's still Wednesday for you, then happy Wednesday. Tonight, we are continuing more Scarlet Nexus. I know it's supposed to be a Tales of Arise day, but I was feeling more Scarlet Nexus after continuing it last week. Um, and since yesterday, we didn't play Scarlet Nexus either because we played Apex instead. But yeah, I was feeling more Scarlet Nexus and I wanted to get back into this game, continue it, and uh, then eventually finishing it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. So. Um, EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Yes, a lot of emotional damage from this game. <laughs> Welcome, Bart, how you doing? Welcome! It's emotional damage night, woo! Yeah. Mental damage too. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. So we are at standby phase five. So we did standby or phase five last week. So we're at standby phase five now. How you doing, bud? Okay. I believe we already... Oh no, we haven't done any of the Bond episodes yet for the standby phase. I guess that's what we're gonna do now. Wait, how do you get to those these? That's it. Um, I just came across a flying finion. What? <laughs> I was just zooming across the top of the water, like above it. I mean... I guess Finneon can fly with those little, you know, flaps on its tails <laughs> in some way. I don't know. Like it was 100% a glitch? Oh, okay. I got you. Alright. Um... Better weapons. I'll exchange instead. Dang it, can't get the butterfly sigh. That. 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 Materials for anything. Had no upward or downward momentum. Zoom in. <laughs> it's funny. Um. Okay. Let's do some Bond episodes, get things started. Save real quick. Save guy! Yeah. Good old save guy. 
should get a save guy t-shirt i i should i should i should get a save guy t-shirt all right you shit never thought this is how we end up going back to suo we can shit then I don't know why he wants a duster, but hey, I guess he can do the cleaning then. <laughs> Save guy in the friends logo format. I like that. This cleans so much dust when I use it. I mean, I was just holding it. Look at him. Yeah. Do all the dusting, you little shit. I'll be <laughs> That's true. That is true. You should have have that written on the back of the shirt. <laughs> all right. We're good on gifts. We don't need gifts. One gifts. Let's do this Bond episode. <clears throat> Damn it! Shiden, what are you it's doing? Punching Baki. This little shit. Sonny, I'm not doing anything. This little fucker. If you're trying to hide it, why don't you go somewhere people can't see? It's hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll. What? How long have you been watching? Yeah, he needs to die. A while. I need to die. Of this? I don't need to be bossed around by you. <laughs> this is just small talk. We're teammates. Don't teammates talk like this? Small talk? Okay, fine. This is called Baki. I know that. Naomi liked it too. My parents pushed it on me because it's popular. It's completely not my taste. Then why do you have it? It's your fault. Huh? Because I lost you one on one. My parents are trying to cheer me up. <laughs> you told your family Get good, you lost? You little shit. Of course not. When I didn't reply for a while, they probably figured out what happened. They've been messaging me non-stop ever since. They even sent me this doll. They probably think I like it. But that's just added pressure. That's why I don't want to reply. And just looking at the message notifications ticks me so you were taking it out on the doll yeah you got a problem with that taking out frustration on the doll and taking it out on the people around you oh so you weren't making fun of me yeah what was that sound how are you doing we haven't heard from you so we've been worried your mother and father are always on your side your mother knows just how strong you are, little Sheeden. Little Sheeden. Do your best and don't lose. I can't wait to don't hear lose. from you. See you soon. Wait, did the whole message just play out loud? Did you see that? I'm sorry, but I did. She's a good mom. <laughs> it played out loud. <laughs> These are the types of messages she keeps sending me. I'm a grown man now, but she keeps treating me like a kid. You actually messaged through the terminal? They pushed it on me. I mean, we can directly receive transmissions through the brain, but they want to go through all this trouble. I don't understand why you're so resistant. How parents are. You don't like being encouraged by your family? I'm grateful, but sometimes it doesn't matter how hard shit. you try. <laughs> There's some <laughs> things you just can't accomplish no matter how <laughs> much they expect you to. So when they keep telling me to do my best, it feels like they're blaming my inadequacy. You're so immature. That he what is. did you say? Ever since I was adopted into the Randall family, I've never received a single word of encouragement from my parents. I don't mean to compare our lives, and I can't say who's better off. But from where I stand, you're loved and truly blessed. I would even say I'm jealous. I'm <clears throat> sorry for saying all those things without thinking about your situation. Still, my family's encouragement stresses me out. My parents will praise me no matter how spectacularly I fail. That's no way to measure my abilities. 
<laughs> I need to be acknowledged by an objective third party if I'm going to improve. You're not satisfied being loved by your family? I don't understand why you work so hard just to be acknowledged. Of course you don't. Acknowledge You're me. the one who won. So I'm just inferior. I trained so hard for years. And it resulted in a pathetic loss to a rookie. I know you must be laughing at me behind my back. I'm not. I just don't understand why you need the approval of others. If you explain it to me, I'll try my best to understand. You want to understand? That's what I'm telling you. Huh. I'm busy. I'm not obligated to explain anything to you. Oh my god. You say that after you like mind. say part of the situation. I need to talk to him more if I'm going to understand him. This little... I had no idea communicating with people was so hard. He's a human contradiction, man. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If yes, anything, I am. I'm letting you lead us. No, you're not. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. Yep. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. Mm -hmm. All right. We reached bond level three with Sheeran. Increase SAS recovery speed and combo five. <clears throat> Got cork board as a present from Sheeran. I feel like I've learned a little more about you, however annoying that may be. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. Yeah, so you can back it off. Right, anyways, Kyoka. I don't really want to say this, but considering the known facts point to Kasane as Chairman Sumeraki's assassin, I'm sure she'd be more than welcome in Seiron. Oh yeah, so we just reached a point here, but or last week anyway, um, where at the part where uh, Yuito thought um, uh, Kasane killed his father. I don't know if you got to that part in, um... Boy, I think you did get to that part in Yuto's story. <clears throat> so, um... I don't know if you want any spoilers of what happened last week. Um, when I played this, or if you're gonna eventually play this. But, um... There was a- I saw some stuff. There was some stuff that happened in Kasane's story that we didn't see in uh, Yuito's. And it's like the second episode of the anime. Oh boy. I thought I'll play it and I don't care about spoilers. Okay, so. <clears throat> at one point. Okay, last time. Um, last week. Um, I believe it was. Kasane, Kyoka. And Shiden. We got transported 50 years. I think 50 years into the future and um and like the whole city was just completely abandoned the whole world is like all destroyed and abandoned and um kasane oh it's in the anime okay so that means you probably okay then you probably know what happens then but then yeah kasane uh met future yuito and yeah we actually saw the part where future Yuito told Kasane to kill him in the past. Nemo blind Yuito sacrifice. Yeah. It was just, I don't know, it was just really messed up and how sad he went, he went out. Like he actually killed himself. Like he, he jumped in front of a, like he, you know, he just charged in front of a, uh, another and just got, chomped <laughs> of course they didn't really show it in the game but they saw him like hanging from a, uh they saw they showed like his dangling legs hanging from the other's mouth so it was just uh, it was kind of sad but <clears throat> yeah we actually saw that part instead of like you know hearing it from kasane and yuito's story anyways i give this luck bringing crystal ball to kyoka
A perfect crystal ball with no impurity, so cracks. Feels like I'm being sucked in as I stare into it. Using max power tools increases the accuracy of fortune telling. Now I have to check my fortune for today. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Oh, Kyoka. Alright. Well, being as we can't go back to Suo, we can all we can call this home for the time being. I will, anyways. Okay. Recommended game choice set. Oh fuck off. Recommended game choice set. You have a good eye. I still like Arashi. Arashi is awesome. Ooh, pretty good choice. If you let someone else choose for you, it can be a fun surprise. soda from the refrigerator sure but i think it would be faster if you got it yourself i need my calories burning those calories with my power would be putting the cart before the horse don't worry i'll pay you back i don't know when though excuses <laughs> i love her excuses all right we reach bond level two with arashi nice he says he has recovery speed and guardian vision yeah Doesn't she have a legitimate reason that means he needs to take it easy and not overexert herself? Also, her voice is so cool. Yeah. I feel like I've heard Arashi's voice in other things, like in either in other games or other anime. Because her voice sounds really, uh, really familiar. Alright. I think we gotta talk to Kagero and do his bone episode, and then we'll check the brain messages and see what we got there to do. Oh, what got you so angry? How about a smile? Let's consider it a little bit of bad luck. Smile. How about a smile? Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> Skip. Good taste. Look at all this, you're so generous. Now, is there one that I like? I okay, I already have one. I buy two, I guess. Or another one, I mean. I should just sell that other one then. Really? Thanks. Oh, nice. It used to be my hobby, but I haven't played in a while. Maybe I'll write a song for you, Kasane. Ooh, this would just make me more popular. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the second one, because... Whoops. Uh, I think... Well, actually, we can give it to, uh... We can give it to Kagura. Increase the bond. You really get me. Okay. Alright, let's do his Bond episode, I guess. Yo, Kasane! Coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. 
Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what else do you want? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity Dick. to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, oh, he does. it might sure actually he does. be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So oh, I think a cool it's character. best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great. Now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? Yes, you are. Maybe. Just maybe. So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. <clears throat> I guess uh, an update on how we've been. Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. Sounds like a great sister oh. to me. Yes. It plays a character I in Tales of Her Eyes. I owe her my life. Interesting. I wanted to ask him about himself. I don't We've think I've met her yet in the time. game. You must really love Naomi. <clears throat> what? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well... Kan Kanzaki and Demon Slayer. She plays Misty in Pokemon Masters. Then you could go back to the way things were. Like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But... I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just, I've lived a life full of regret. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm always the thinking other about how she does. the past. Although, you do have a good point. That's Oops. enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily gotta maintain some air of mystery about me oh really then i won't well, push you lucky enough I mean, for we us we know what his between us too quickly. we know his past Let's from yuito's slow. story okay so he's from the moon i believe right we from ended up remember. barely even talking about him i did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment i think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his Although, I could be reading into it too much. Yeah, I think, if I remember correctly, I think Kagro is from the moon. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was <clears throat> easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well. That lack of control is one of your good features. Reach bond level 2 with Kagero. The voice of Kagero is Turles in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. I don't know who Turles is. I didn't get. Well, I mean. I play much of it. Alright, increase ACS recovery speed and guardian vision. So weird. Reach team bond level 2. Awesome! Decorate the hideout with mission break photo. Hey, do you see how great I am now? I don't know about great, but I do think I've come to understand you a little better. These are the photos? 
Cool. Neat photos. Else here. I think we have everyone, or we did everyone's one episode in the hideout, so let's check our frame messages and see if we have anything here. Frame map has expanded. New skills can be learned. Sweet. Okay, do prepare to have your mind blown. The voice of Kagero. Is the kid an elf in lied who killed the puppy? No. Oh, that's... Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. That, that's a surprise. It's a big surprise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I wanted to really thank you, Kasane. Your weapon is basically a knife, right? That's something we have in common. It is a knife, but it's nothing like yours. Our fighting styles are totally different anyway. Uh, totally different anyways. Your code even over text. I suppose I do use my knife while I'm invisible. I dance like a butterfly and sing like a bee, though you can't see me. I think there's something two knives, uh, two knife users can learn from each other, though. Let's talk about it. He is also Greed in FMA, if you know who that is. Greed. I think I know who that is. I don't. He's, he's a bunch of One Piece characters? Ooh. Interesting. Alright. Get that machine out of my out of the way. What? Archie's machine is in the way. I told her, but she won't do anything, so you move it. Why don't you move it yourself? Delicate machinery and I don't mix. Electrokinesis users like me can short circuit machines if we don't control our power well. Then control your power well. Get good, like I said earlier. <laughs> well, that kind of stuff only happened when I was a kid. I just don't want to deal with it if it breaks. Fine, I'll do it myself. I don't want you to think I can't control myself. Hmm. Mr. Nine. Uh, Rapun... Rapanui? Asqua? And Kad... Kader? Kadar? He's been voicing Turtles since 1997. Holy shit. I know who Mr. Nine is, I think. I don't know who the other two characters... Or at least I don't remember those two characters. Alright. <clears throat> I know I sound pretentious saying this, but I think my invisibility will be pretty useful in the future, even more so after everything that happened. I'm happy to be of service. Okay. Looks like we have a Bond episode with Luca and Hanabi. About Karin and Travers. Maybe shocked by my sudden message, but I would like to ask you about Karn, Karn Trivers. We're both fighting on different fronts now, but I was hoping you would meet me at Musubi's. I await your reply. I think you probably know more about Karn than I do, Luca. But if you want to meet, I don't mind. Let's meet now. Also, let's forget our current situations. We'll just talk. Nothing will be accomplished if we worry about who's on what side. So, so that's another thing about these standby phases. Like these standby phases just put these characters just, you know, on even and like it's just it's like a like nothing has happened, you know, during the whole story. And yeah, Luca is a uh, Tanjiro. I didn't realize that until um I would say like a couple months ago. Like, I think it was, like, after, uh, 
after I saw the voice actor at the anime convention I went to last year. The last year? I think it was last year. Or two years ago. Um, but yeah, they have the same voice. Or same voice actor. Which is... I didn't... I don't know why I didn't realize it like way sooner. Because they sound really alike. Like the two characters. I mean. Also, Ginyu... Gan Ganye? Gen Ganye? Tales of Arise. Who's that? I don't remember. Again, it has been a while since I last played Tales of Arise, so... I probably forgot some characters. He's the main character in Genshin. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, he is! I think I uh, I saw that on one of his character lists, like people. Voiced. Yeah, that that is uh that is cool. Um, uh, all right. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person also, to me. the voice of Byron and Fire Emblem 3 houses the main character who looks him. like a taller version of Luca I'm sure there with the same color hair. Would agree oh. With you. And by association, it's Byron and Smash. In way. He's Ultimate 2. Oh, pushing yeah. Forward without considering anybody Binos else. in One Punch That's Man, the this dude is stacked. Is. Gyro in One Piece. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize yeah, this guy voices skills, a lot of cool characters. But I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way. But I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come yeah. to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people I'm like being me, that new, the boys tend to hide in the Oh, that's cool. A little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier Just if I were more well mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. Hmm. Hey. The we're also... You are also from a two-child family, Kasane. It is only my brother and I, so that... Uh, so that is a small thing we have in common. Well, Naomi and my brother are certainly different types. She seemed to care for her sister very much. My brother does care about me in his own way. Does he? I thought I saw Karin attack you before like it was nothing. That's pretty strange. That's a pretty strange way to show affection. <laughs> well, I suppose there are many kinds of brothers and sisters. Yeah. Sonny's voice actor, voice actor voices Talus and Paladins. Oh, cool. A little boy character who can rewind time. Oh, wait, she voices Gone? Gone? Hunter Hunter? 
Oh. Never seen Hunter Hunter, but I think I know who Gon is. Alright, let's see. Can we meet at Misubi's? Kasane, can you come to Misubi's? So much happened and I was hoping we could talk about it. I hope you'll reply. Alright, let's talk in Misubi's. There are things I want to say for you, uh, say to you too. I'll go to Misubi's now. I mean, to be fair, I've only watched a little via Jump Force and the Schmuck Squad Abridged series. Oh, right. Yeah, i never seen a single episode of Hunter x Hunter. Oh, Kasane! How are you? I'm fine. You'll go right too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not alright. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. Oh, Subaki! I think it's unfortunate too. I don't want to fight you. We finally Sonya to finish that friends. anime. I'm so just too... why do we have to fight? I don't know. As long as you're with you, I don't want to cry. Fight you. <laughs> There's something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? He's in smite. What? Oh, cool. What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey! Don't insult me! I would never betray him! Uh... I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his oh, ideals, so, so no matter how nervous? hard things are. I know he's worried. And I wait, know it must be hard wait, for him the to, new, have to fight you. In the new show That's or in the old I show? Have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him. All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so the much? The old one? Oh. You were the one hey. who started it. I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves, not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? Damn, son. How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Yes, you did. Done fucked up. Hey, I guess that's everything in uh all the bond bond episodes. Guess we will say continue to uh to phase six. I don't know how many phases there are in Kasane's story. Probably the same amount in Yuito's. Um, which I don't quite remember how many phases there were in Yuito's, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways, is it 13? Was it 13? Somewhere near that? Well, if it's 13, I guess we're halfway through, uh... We're about to be halfway through in Sonny's story because we're about to go to uh, phase six. I think I'm tired. <clears throat> I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is an other and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. 
I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes, I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. Hmm. So Huff really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck. Haha. <laughs> uh, Looks she... like first platoon already has a mission. You didn't jealous first, as fuck. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders get directly. Fucked, she did. The location is Seiron OSF headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Garin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. Day 6, to get back what's important. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <laughs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seiron for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. Kunat Gate? This must be the area around Kunat Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. <laughs> Whoa there. I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up. I know, it just slipped out. Everything all right? No, it's nothing. Shaden just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just just a little freaked out. <laughs> it seems small. The Kunar gate we saw in the future was Sad. much bigger. Probably just needs time. So she this said... is going to expand and destroy the world. Well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Seiron. Your duties won't be any different from before. 
That's fine, but how was Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Seiron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. I'm not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. I'll see it. All right. Oh, she doesn't have a shoulder baki. Let's give her a shoulder baki. Her right, hopper velocity. There you are. Sweet. We shouldn't tell Karin we went to the future. We can't trust him. You were right to share He probably knows already. As I expected, someone almost screwed it up. I already apologized for that. Let it go already. Uh, you screwed up. You done fucked. It's probably already there, yeah. <laughs> I have to finish this mission fast and ask Carmen about Naomi. Hang on, Naomi. Hmm, it looks like your usage rate of hypervelocity with SAS is low. Who are these guys? Why are they all wearing white suits? How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder Uto what was there. If He'd be a Suito. <laughs> oh, I know. Hey, Sheeden, stick your Suto. finger inside it. <laughs> stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but... Don't go near the gate, even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Yuito is right. The red chain. But when you used your time travel power, <laughs> Dialka, <laughs> it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Alkia? Should I tell Karin that Yuito <clears throat> is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunad gate. No. This is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming. He's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it... Yuito had aged, but Karin looked exactly the same. Yeah. Did he just not age, or could it be something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. 
I never realized what that the red Naokai? strings is actually a thing in Chinese mythology. Wait, then yeah, he was there. Naomi. Future you said use a bitch. Has labs that are conducting <laughs> research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Bubuki! Where's the lab? Bubuki was, uh, was also there. Though he, he, he was dead, but, um... Authorized personnel are but Bubuki didn't age too in the future. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on yeah, the Yeah, because when, um... We're ready to leave. When Kasane Understood. saw Karn in the future, Karn was holding Fubuki in his Feel arms, do you want and he basically just again. chucked his body towards Arashi, and Arashi was like, Arashi, his body's cold, so me? they just assumed that he's you dead. All perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher ups' consent, then at least Arashi pretend that you're an obedient voice soldier. Valkyrie? I can see that. You're going to help me look for Naomi. I can totally see that. Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after actually, all. Actually, Arshi's besides Arshi's voice concerned about Naomi. Actually, sounds like a younger Valkyrie. Well. Okay, I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should start. Not sound like a teenage out. Valkyrie. Let's go. You know. <clears throat> Major General Karn's speech was incredible. I bet the whole country is talking about it right now. Right about now. What are you talking? Wait. Why are you talking about it like we're not involved? You know that we're on Major. Gen Major General Karn's side, don't you? Um, I think he used Arhabaki to broadcast the speech. That's impressive. Yes, it looks that way. Major General Karn uh, accessed Arhabaki and sent a video to every citizen simultaneously. I mean, the system can obviously handle the task. I just wonder if it's not dangerous. You know, sending a forced transmission to everyone's brains at the same time. Fortunately, that uh, there did not seem to be any serious issue this time, but it would not be surprising if there had been. Let's not, or let's just assume that the risk was necessary. Either way, it's not a very ideal method. Interesting. <clears throat> Ignore me, I'm hungry and don't know what I'm saying. Exactly, that's totally Arashi. Over here. Over here. Over here. Oh. I feel like we see each other's faces all the time. Right now. I can also see R. She has an alcoholic too. So when that's she's older. what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi, how could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. <laughs> Better than saying it behind your back. Don't yeah. forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. <laughs> I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway... Were you really planning on investigating this secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. <laughs> we can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. Just the I looked two into this of lab. Us. And it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. 
You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, so I don't have enough slots to claim well, Wukong. Then, wait a oh second. no. You sure then? We're coming with you. Let's get rid of one of your warframes. That's fine with me. <laughs> I guess. Besides, based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Sayron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Haruka. I've prepared a relatively safe Wait a minute. route using the information What about the new night wave? Any new Warframe you. slots you can earn? I'll leave the navigation oh, yeah. to you. Is there any new Warframe slots you can get from the night wave? I guess? I don't know. <clears throat> How you doing, Cody? Welcome. Oh, we're back here. I remember this place. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious. I remember those little this. black boxes on you the shelves are actually heads. Purpose. Sorry, guys. I can't access the internal data from here. Oh, well, Don't bye, worry, Nix. I got this. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, hold on. I need to check on something because I just realized my sound effects aren't working. Give me a moment. I need to see why isn't my sound effects working. Greatest Detective Batman? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that's that's an alert, but I'm talking about my actual sound effects. Because when I did the uh, the hello command, it didn't do the welcome, you know, sound effect. I'm gonna restart Streamlabs chatbot here real quick. Bear with me. How you doing, Batman? Oh, well, I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Can I even delete a Warframe slot? I got confused with loadout slots. Um... Yeah, you can sell a Warframe. Always watching. Always watching, Dynowski. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. Now... Welcome! There it is. Is my Shadows command working? Shadows command is not working. Um... Hold on. Let me restart my... My stream deck. My country start nexus is 490 500 dollars wait what 
How you doing, Sushi? Oh my god, my shout out command is broken. Why do you do this to me, Stream Deck? Why? Is your country the literal moon? <laughs> Why is my stream... My shadow command not working. Are you working? Son of a bitch. Come on. My god. Having troubles. Turkish? Oh. It's in humble yeah, well. Well it's not it's not a humble monthly, it's it's a bundle, but <clears throat> It's a it's a bundle uh I forgot what it's called, but um yeah you can get the game for like twenty dollars and you get like six other games too, which is the other six games are pretty worth it too for twenty bucks. I mean getting it getting Scarlet Nexus alone for twenty dollars is worth it because the game is amazing, in my opinion. Anyways. Sorry. I think my shout out broke uh shout out Command button is kind of broken. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess we should be fine. Wait, why did I switch out Kagro with Kyoka? Oh, whatever. I guess Anyways, let's continue. So yeah, um, I believe when um, when we were here for the first time with Yuito's and Yuito's story, these uh, these boxes on the shelves here, these black boxes, are actually heads. There are human heads inside these boxes. I think we need key cards for these, right? How'd you unlock it so damn fast? Oh, I guess she when can did open you them. Have the time to do that. I want to say it was a piece of cake, but I didn't have time to hack any of the others. According to what I found, there's more than a few of these security gates around the facility. It's going to be a real pain. Hmm. Knowing that is enough. We can do the rest on our own. Be careful, everyone. Animal like they're coming eat heads. <laughs> Item. Oh, can't get. Nothing here. There are resource readings in the area. I'll leave the pick up to you. Hey, what is this place? Do something. 
Okay. Um. There. There. We go in there. This way. Oh, item. Through here. It seems to be locked. We might be able to open it using my power, though. Kasane, try it out. Oh. Uh. Leave it to me. Oh, here we go. Cool. Get on. Ten key card number two, sweet. There's something on the floor here. It's a key card. Yes. What? Is that blood? Thank you, Captain Nobbs. Hmm. Maybe one of the researchers was killed by another. I think we can use this. I think psychokinesis and duplication go well together, don't you? I think that's a useful combo. Some satchel recoveries are interesting. Got some stardust in this one? No. Yes. Gate number two, so this is the left side. We just made a loop around, right? Even if you don't need it, being invisible is fun. Alright, let's go through gate two. <clears throat> There's an item here. Okay. Save guy. Guess we'll save. Okay. Excuse me. Did you notice that we're always together? Um, yes. 
maybe? I don't know. EK was that four? E four. Using the Shida. Feather tail? And a cosmetic item? Fireproof barrier. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another safe guy. Wait, is this the same safe guy? Can't be, right? Because we went downstairs. There's the other gate other key card thingy. Yeah, but we don't have Luca on our side. Jesus. Just teleport through. over here. There's a resource reading that's close. You. You. Moving on. <clears throat> Oh, 
more. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Break it. I got hit. It's hot. Your body catches fire. It's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. We can't give up. Time to fight back. Yeah, yeah, I know. The enemy shell is broken. And funny, now's the time to attack. Keep your guard up. I thought she was gonna say I hate whores. Would have been hilarious. Hey, there's K4. Uh, key card. Grab the key card. Or it's three. Never mind. I can count. I can see. Now that you over here. That's this four too. Is there a gate three upstairs? Let's see. Yeah, there is a gate three. Here then. Sticky. It would be a disaster if we were lit on. 
I'll do it. It's over. Fire right now. Someone's covered in oil. You can burn easily, so watch out for fire attacks. Not bad. <laughs> Show me what you got. This is four. Sweet. Save. All right, back up we go. There's two gate fours. Still a map button. Whoops. Accidentally made a clip. Progress is through that. Mm. Let's see what's through here then. Alright, alright. Oh, it's just a loop around from the beginning. <laughs> ara, ara, <sh> <laughs> I thought this was an other research laboratory, but it looks more like a factory. What gives? And that strange smell. What is that? It's starting to make me nauseous. What in the world are they making here? Huh? Aren't those... ampules? They're the same ones the Ceyron military dropped. Ceyron military? What are you talking about? Hmm, so the Ceyron garrison dropped an ampule like this when they took Naomi away after she turned into an other. That is a Ceyron laboratory after all, so it wouldn't be that odd for the garrison to have something from there. 
But you said you saw an ampule like that in your home when you were a child. Yes. I think it's connected to Randall Industries, since they had partnerships with the pharmaceutical company as well. You're talking about Spring Pharmaceuticals. That's your family's company, right, Arashi? Do you know anything about it? Yeah, it's my family's company, but unfortunately I don't know anything about this facility or the ampules. The OSF had me doing annoying promotional work. Oh well, that just means we need to scoop up any information we can now. What are you up to now? The key to intelligence gathering is to obtain information as quickly and precisely as possible. Wow, Arashi. It's like their security doesn't even exist to you. Looks like they thought they were safe enough with a closed system. I should be able to get into the root... Wait, what is this? What did you find? Share the data you have. Oh, what have we here? A valuable asset in a battle with New Himuka. An other weapon? Uh, this video. They're transplanting human brains into others. Yep. <clears throat> the psionics brain is connected to an other through SAS in order to control it. Like I said, those boxes it. are full of heads. How novel. Having people and others fighting together. I'd say other weapon is an apt name. What a sickening idea. However, based on the data, it doesn't look like they've completed this project. No, that's not <clears> it. <throat> it seems they haven't succeeded with ordinary others. This experiment is even more horrifying than we thought. In order to increase the compatibility with the SAS, they're using others that were... originally human. No! That's barbaric! Oh boy. Major General Karin had some terrible things to say about New Himuka, but I'm not sure Seiron is any better. Why did he try to hide this facility from us? Naomi, I have to find Naomi. Stop. Here comes Get Yuito. Together. If you blow our cover now, it will all be over. <sighs> yes, you're right. I think this Archie, is where they meet. Can you find uh, out where Naomi might be? I'll get on that meet right up now. with you or There's not meet a large polite. high security <clears throat> area up ahead. Where Yuito comes in Seems and pretty fishy finds Kasani's platoon. Okay, let's you... make our way over there then. We should at least I confirm think... her status. See if she's okay. Where am I? I was wrong. According to the data, this is definitely a Spring Pharmaceuticals factory. Say Ron and Spring Pharmaceuticals are working together. They've never been so ashamed to be a Spring. You don't have a key card number zero, so lock it. Okay, so we need key card zero. There's a resource reading near here. You should check it out. Can't pick it up, Sheeta, and shut up. Down here. Never mind. Using the Sheeta. Ooh. This looks like it could be a big fight here. Hello. No fight. This key card zero here too. It won't open. Maybe we need another key card. Let's investigate this area, Lil. We might learn something. This is some kind of control mechanism. Hmm. Arashi, it's your turn. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't mean to complain, but this is a lot of work for one door. <laughs> oh, eyeball. 
It's creepy. What the heck am I looking at here? More like what is it looking at? <laughs> That's another, isn't it? The console was a decoy. Oh. Boy. We'll take them out. Oh boy. Similar when I was going through the game. Keep your guard up. It was listed as an item that had a human brain transplanted into it. Ow. Maybe it's one of those experimental other weapons. It's over. What's that? Look, something's moving around my feet. Watch out, Kasane. The fuck? Jeez, hurry, are there? It'll be a lot of work, but we should take them down one by one. It's over. Keep your guard up. So we can't go on those small those rings. Ow. That last attack. Oh Jesus. It looks like they zeroed in on us with something like radar. Not bad. No time to be impressed. This thing moving at our feet is that radar. It's how these others see. That's what it looks like. Careful not to bump into it. We'll just have to stay in the center then. I'm following this. Use it well. It's working. Focus on that spot. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, Jesus. Wait, it tingles. It tingles? What? The foot cover him? Oh, shit. Faster. Fuck. God oh, damn it. Spinning radar things are going to be a pain. It's no good. I won't be able to move for a while. It's over. Not bad. That's going to be hard. Damn it! Oh wait, I'm dumb. I can use Kagura's invincibility. Flying fuckers are annoying. Focus. Always. 
There we go. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have pressed Y. Yeah, key card zero. Look at the terrible things they made. Now we can move forward, though. Yes, we'll find Naomi one way or another. Huh, one way or another. Haha, <laughs> haha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Guys, here. over here oh there's a save guy here oh wait I'm gonna have to close out metal because every time I push the map button on my controller it makes a clip Crap, this place is huge. Oh, wait. Okay, this is to progress. So where does that other door lead to then? Is what it is. Oh, seems like it's a oh it loops back to the to where we need to go. Okay, so I guess this is a way to come back to the beginning area. Oh, actually, we'll we're gonna exit through the other way around the first way.
Plus I need to go to save guy. Need to save at the save guy. Freaking pictures of others. Some weird sense of decoration. This is a fancy and gigantic ass hallway. It's really creepy too. Just don't open. I don't like these sudden sounds, man. Okay, that's the... Yeah, that's the one that just unlocked to go back around. Yeah. So, it's this way. Nothing. Just gotta keep moving forward, I guess. Why is there a gigantic ass chair in this hallway? Like, are we not the right size for this hallway or something? Oh, I just realized these doors are huge too, and they just got like little mini doors for us. Wait. Are these hallways for others <laughs> to move in? Like, you know, to walk around in? Like, we go in... We go in as humans, come out as others. You know? Who's there? <gasps> that voice. Someone there? Naomi, that's you, isn't it? Where are you? Naomi? Wait, what? Naomi? Kasane? Naomi? Naomi! I knew it was you! That voice... Is that really you, Kasane? We how, have a brain how are we hearing with Naomi. Naomi's voice? That must mean she's nearby. I've confirmed a reading for Naomi. I am confused. Wait... You shouldn't... I'll be right there, Naomi. I'm confused. How are we hearing Naomi's voice? Because I thought Naomi she got here. turned into another. Back away from the door. I'm breaking it down. You don't have to do that. I can unlock it. <laughs> no. Don't open it. Unless she's still an other, but we can hear her voice. Oh, we're going to fight her, aren't we? <laughs> I see the light. Naomi! Are you okay? Still another. <sighs> Kasane, I... No. Naomi. <sighs> so, 
It's true. What have they done <laughs> to you, Naomi? Bak Baki's covering Kyoka's face. Flashback. Well, we can hear her voice this time, though. What the though. hell is that? Why is Naomi another? I'm sorry, Naomi. It's because you protected me. It's okay, Kasane. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> but... It really is okay. I'm glad you're well. Yes. Thanks to you. What... What are you doing here? Trying to save you. Hey, Naomi. We wanted to come and check to see that you were okay. It's or that too. That. I, <laughs> I want to save you. Thank you, but I'm fine like this. What do you mean? There's no way I'd be able to have a life out there. I'm an other now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's enough. You can't just keep apologizing to Naomi. She's right. And hey, right now you're both alive and breathing. Isn't that something to be happy about? Yeah, at least she's not dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to happen like this. No, it's all right. How are you doing? The people here haven't hurt you, have they? I'm fine. The people here Why are is her voice very breaking kind, up? Even to an other like me. <laughs> Naomi. But when I don't take the ampules, it really hurts. And I can't do it. Okay? Oh. Please, you have to go. Please forget about me. No. I was finally able to find you. He's about the rage. Kasane, she's right. It's what your sister wants you to do. Naomi! Better close the door behind you. That's right. You go into human, come out another. Kasane. Oh, there's Karin. So you came. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Major General Karin? Yeah, well, this isn't very surprising. Seems like you had us dancing to your tune all along. Naomi is able to maintain her personality with the medication in the ampules, but the effects are only temporary. The only way to save her is to revert her to her human state. And to do that, we need your power. Are you telling the truth? If you're trying to use my sister as an other weapon... That is simply what they tell Sauron. This facility's true purpose is to revert humans that have been metamorphosed into others back to their original state. And tell me what I need to do. You'll need to be at full strength. I'll need some time to prepare as well. Continue exterminating others until we're ready. Bide your time. I promise you Naomi will be safe. I don't like it. I don't think Naomi ever did come back, uh, turn back at, uh, as then human. Then go back to Sauron she? and hold tight on standby. Don't do anything so rash again. Unless she did. And I just forgot. Since we're ordered to stay in Ceyron, why don't we go shopping in town? Right, we should stock up and get medical supplies. Hey, you're coming too, Kasane. Huh? Oh, right. Fine. I was like, why can't you think of shopping at a time like this? <laughs> but I guess going what shopping... Should we do next? I mean, getting, like, supplies is a good idea too. I mean, here we got our supplies. <clears throat> oh, 
Tehran City Nihumuka's second capital. Tape guy! <clears throat> oh wow, we're about to be level 60. There's a lot of people who hire psionics for work. I have no interest, so if you want to accept, you deal with it. We should treat ourselves to a day on the town to raise spirits. Yeah, we can't force it on Kasane though. You're right. Seeing Naomi like that, even I was shaken. Arshi is everywhere. Alright, did I mean she did say she was used to you like want an easy win, I can always to give promote you stuff, hand. right? What? Ooh, excuse me. So over here, these guards look suspicious. There are resource readings in the area. I'll leave the pickup to you. What are you guys blocking? There's a rumor that the hero who assassinated Joseph Muragi in the Suo incident officially joined the Seiron government. If that's true, it will greatly raise moral. Morale. So. My friend I made through Sina is in Suo. He was really a good guy. But a bit but was a bit lazy. Anyway, he complained to me about what the government was doing not that long ago. Now he's saying stuff like long live new Humyuka. He's like a different person. Eh, we just ruined all the umbrellas that were lined up. All of them. Ah! Disrespect your surroundings! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I don't know where else we can go aside from uh, our actual destination. This is a nice view. This is a really nice view. Aren't you tired of seeing the same face? I mean, it doesn't bother me if you're okay with it. All right, this one. Stand by, huh? So, what do you want to do? We could go back to OSF headquarters. Before you do, could I have a moment of your time? Who the fuck are you? Excuse me, but who are you? Please excuse my manners. I work for the Seiron government. I have come to ask you all a favor. This is a request from a group of us who do not quite see eye to eye with Travers. What are you talking about? I thought Major General Karin and the Seiron government are in this together. We have determined that Yuito Sumeragi is connected to the Kunad Gate's formation. Uh. Our experts say that the gate will bring a great disaster to the world if left alone. We propose the assassination of Yuito Sumeragi to Travers, but he has skirted the issue. Skirt. After some reconsideration, we decided that we should delegate this task to the hero who assassinated Chairman Sumeraki instead. You want Kasane to assassinate Yuito? I'll do it. I mean, that's what she What's wanted it? to do anyway. Are you serious? Do you know what you're even saying? 
Thank you for your cooperation. We have intel that Yuito Sumeragi is currently in Kikuchiba on assignment. I will leave the rest to you. Good day. I wasn't able to find out the identity of that man, but I was at least able to determine that he works for Seiron's Prime Minister. So the fact that this is a request from the government checks out. Are you really going to assassinate Yuito? Look, I know what this sounds like coming from me, but don't you think that's a bit much? I'm not saying what future Yuito told you isn't true. Kakuro does have a point. As of now, we only have circumstantial evidence. Nothing is really concrete. This also goes against Major General Karin's wishes. Are you still gonna go through with it? Yes. I'm going to kill Yuito. That's most likely the only solution we have. Only solution my ass? <laughs> I'll make my way to Kikuchiba. What the hell? You can't just leave! Hey! Looks like we're making our way to Kikuchiba. Wait, Kasane. You should reconsider! That's right. You're making a rash decision. Oh dear. She isn't listening at all. Damn, she's so selfish! Over here. Oh, it's the same headquarters. At least this front area is the same headquarters thing, design. <clears throat> Let's see. Just wanna explore a little bit. Never been to this area. At least not in a uh, Yuito story. So this is a nice change of scenery. I guess I think we've been to every world. So, guess we're going to Kikuchiba then. Waiting around 50 years will help out either. Yeah. I know where Yuito is, but Kasane, do you really want to do this? It doesn't matter what I want. This is all I've got. Give me the directions. Understood. Whoa. If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. Useless. Check. Nice job. Sometimes. Oh, Jesus. Keep his arm up. Next. here. Whoa. Just flipped. <laughs> Defensive foes. Some others take a defensive stance when approached. They can be damaged in the protected. Wait, they can't be damaged in this protected position. But you can use SAS hyper velocity or invincibility to approach them undetected and strike them unawares. Hey! Strike them unawares. That's a. <laughs> Legends Arceus type thing. <laughs> Go ahead and use my power, Kasane. 
With that oil, it'll be hard to move if they get on you, so be careful. Keep your guard up. Using the shield. Oops. Oh shit, there's another one. There's we go. Yup. Same guy. This where we meet? I think this is where we meet, Yuitos. Yep. Well, we came here just like the guy wanted us to. Are you sure about this? Are you really going to kill Yuito? Either way, we couldn't just let you go by yourself. Everyone here has your back. Listen, Kasane. We'll help you fight, but it ends there. After that, each of us will act independently. Got it? There you are. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Oh boy. I'm borrowing this. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Hold on. Sukumi. Or is that her name? Right? Yeah, Sukumi. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Neither of you will come out unhurt. 
Do you really want to kill Yuito? You don't have to help me if you don't want to. Just stay out of my way. Make it good. Sorry, we should attack them individually. We should nullify the other two before no. we can True. Okay. Get it together. We can't give up. I'm sorry, Sukumi. Sukumi, I'm sorry. Where's Hanabi? Or Luka? There you are. Luca. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What the fuck? I won't be sorry. Can you handle it? Watch yourself. I'm using it. Leave it to me. Let's go. Here we go. Some enemies that use his powers can create a brain field. With some exceptions, you can't use psychokinesis attacks while in an enemy's brain field. You will need to overcome it with weapon attacks or SAS. Brain fields will disperse after a set time, so you will need to wait it out. Alright. It's time to run away for 40 seconds. I'll just let the other two attack him. Three, two, one. Nice 
job. That's awesome. Kasane, tell me. Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Master Yuito, Kodama is here! Oh no. <gasps> Kodama. Great, just what we needed. No, not we her. We should fall back to our hideout. Uh, wait, Kasane! Fuck that girl. At least we're not gonna have to deal with Ooh boy. This is completely messed up. How can you just decide to kill Yuito like that? That day we came back from the future, you said that it wasn't going to be an easy decision yourself. Our future depends on it. Look, if that's your argument, do you actually have proof that it's all true? I'm sorry, but I just don't believe that killing Yuito is the answer to solving everything. Besides, it seems pretty extreme to kill both the father and the son. What exactly is your reasoning behind all this? If you can justify killing Yuito, then I'm all ears. There's no point trying to explain. That's for us to decide! What? I've been wanting to tell you this for a while now, Kasane, but you are way too selfish. You make quick decisions and determine what needs to be done. Even when you lose your cool, you're able to compose yourself. I really respect those qualities. Yeah, I said it. I respect you. That's why I was able to accept you as I don't my need leader. need respect, Shida. But no, not this time. Why should you kill Yuito? Don't expect any help from me until you can give me a good, valid reason. That... but... Whoa there, Shiden. I think that's enough. Ah, oh, the youth are so passionate. I like it. It looks like your passion got to her. Continuing to harp on her like that isn't going to get us answers. Listen, Kasane, we have no idea what kind of things you're bottling up inside. We don't know the weight of it, or whether it's painful or not. The only thing we know right now is simply what happened to Naomi. Saying that an explanation would be pointless means you have something you should say. Lucky for you, there are four open-minded people here ready to listen. I'm pretty sure there are different perspectives you can consider as well. Tell us. We deserve to hear it. Yes, we're all on the same team here. I'm sorry. So you're really not going to tell us? N no! I just wasn't sure how to explain it, so I'm sorry I said it'd be pointless to tell you. Well, if that was the case, then you should have said something. I I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this apology is for making you jump to conclusions, so... Yeah, I think I got that. Oh my God. Hey, Sheedan, come on. Let's try to relax a little, okay? It's great you're invested, and that's cool and all, but it's also lame at the same time. Shut up! Anyway, if you're gonna tell us, then tell us already. Uh, okay. The first reason is what I felt at Kunod Gate. I felt something like the power of the red strings coming from it. The time portal that should be disappearing lingers because of Yuito's power. That's what made me believe what future Yuito said. The second reason is because of what Karin said. He knows that we went to the future. He does? Arashi, you were eavesdropping so you can confirm. Yeah. From what was said in the future, I knew there was a good chance that Karin was involved in some way or another. He's at least aware that a time-traveling power exists and has accepted it. The third reason is that the Seiron official said Yuito was involved. Mm. I see. So for you, all your suspicions leading up to now were confirmed. Yes. I mean, they're all just circumstantial, but it's all I have. I'm sorry. You're apologizing for the wrong thing again. What we wanted was a fair explanation, and you provided one. You don't need to apologize for that. And it's thanks to your explanation, we came to understand exactly why you made your decision. 
Yeah, I can see where you're coming from now, but I still have a question. Why didn't you discuss all this with us? I told you. I didn't have any definite proof, and I didn't think you'd believe me. But I did. And everyone else here, too. Some of it I'm still not convinced about, but I don't think all of it's a lie. It's proof that your way of thinking is wrong. That's why we should talk from now on. We have each other's backs here. That's what makes us a team. I'm sorry. There you go again. Huh? There's a different phrase you should be saying right now. That's right. If you want to build trustful relationships, an apology isn't what's needed right now. Oh. Um. Thank you. Everyone. All right, stand by phase six. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, I agree with everyone. So I want you to know you can always talk to me. Oh. All right, it's time to do some Bond episodes. Presence. Scroll speed. Brain model vision. Actus. Customized for OSF Archivist. Stand. Any environment looks like battle attire, so even non archivist wants it. Huh. Dawn, simplicity, calling. Oh, these are for each, uh, for specific characters. I'm curious on what these look like. We have five. I don't know if we get any more or not. Unless. Oh, we can make them. Okay. They can make trading keys, design tickets, weapon use records. If exchange tickets. Okay, so we can get more. Um, can we buy these? Oh, we can't buy the outfits. Okay. Um, let's see what these look like. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, these are the, this is the same outfit the save guy wears. I think. Oh, fancy. Hell yeah. So I'll give get one for each person. better weapon everyone okay good to go I like this outfit. Match with the save guy. <laughs> so we failed the job that Seiron official gave us. It was Kodama's fault. We couldn't help it. I never thought failing a mission would relieve me so much. Okay. So we're gonna do all the Bond episodes and then we're gonna save here and call it for the night. See, Kagero has one, and or she has one. Let's talk to Shiden. <clears throat> Surprised that you'd be so willing to thank someone. Thank you. Real lightning is the best. I'm surprised you understand the incredible beauty of it. Someday, I want to take a picture like this. Someday. I think I only had one gift for him? Right? Yeah, okay. Alright, Kyoka. <laughs> Kasane, you can come talk to me whenever you want from now on. Acting like a true mom. What she wants with a brain model vision is beyond me. Thank you. Brains are strange. They contain everything that makes us who we are. Interesting. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We'll get to her last. So even the cool Kasane can act like a teenage girl. I'm a little relieved, actually. Give you your cactus. Good taste. I'm not much of a gardener, but I'll ask Sugumi how to make uh, how to take care of it. Pretty sure cactus aren't that difficult to take care of, right? Kasane, you've come to see me. Let me guess, you've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. No. Disturbing things do tend to stand out. Ouch. I demand an apology and compensation. 
Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Kikuchiba? What are we going to do at a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Why hmm. does he want me to go with him? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? <laughs> That's funny. There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait! We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry, but at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training. Having them around was the whole point. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like the entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is. An arcade game? No, a claw machine? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds what? illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take its prize? Don't worry about it. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice, it worked. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then... That one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I'm basically an expert now. Start it up, turn here, and... Now! He dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. How long did they, did they stay there for? One more <clears throat> time. This time I'll get it for sure. He hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. Nah, she's cheating. With her, she's using her powers. That's... Hey, you're cheating! <laughs> All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. That's funny. You brute forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? Well, that's true. <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. That's funny stuff. Okay, then. I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. Oh. 
Oh, were you two together? Oh boy, looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? Secret? Huh? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. Kasane, <laughs> why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways. And I am an old geezer. In fact, I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. Oh my. Then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. <laughs> Whoa now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <sighs> Do whatever you want. Oh I'm my. glad you two are getting along so well. Boy, you really are capable, Kasane. I'm detecting some sarcasm. If I was being sarcastic, I'd say it sarcastically. I have a pretty good eye for people. Just accept the compliment. You really are getting along well with the guys in this platoon. My hat's off to you. All right, beach the long. No, that beach reached bond level three with Kagura. Please. Sustained invincibility and combo vision. A teddy bear is a present from Kagero. All right, I guess we get to keep that I teddy bear. Find that I can warm your frosty heart. There's no need for that. At least I know now that you're actually considerate. <laughs> All right. I guess we do our she's. Oh hey, there's our teddy bear. Cute. All right. Let's talk to her, is she? What does she want? We should, should have shared our investigation on Karn with everyone sooner. I have a few things I need to own up to this time. Thoughts on my department, but hmm, I guess this is the Wabi Sabi idea of beauty. Wabi Sabi? The f hell is Wabi Sabi? <laughs> okay. Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? She is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. <laughs> Skipping out on work? Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up. People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You could find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. You care about efficiency that much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Hmm. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned. But I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Mm. Salty surprise! <laughs> I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. 
She likes to cook, too. Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. Except... I see. That's why these rations companion. are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Good grief. Are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful they took me in. But my parents don't see me as family. Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me. Protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. When someone protects yeah, you, you protect duty. them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Now, I feel like that's guilt go. tripping. <laughs> oh, that's so unfair. Arashi! <laughs> this must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. Wow. You have some potential, Kasane. I could be your instructor if you want. I can teach you the fundamentals of Arashi style slacking off. <laughs> Wouldn't you just slack off and not teach me anything? Hmm. I have nothing more to teach you. <laughs> well done. That laugh, though. All right, reach bond level three with Arashi. Combo vision. Sweet. <clears throat> Got a card castle playing cards as a present from Arashi. Excuse me. Reach team bond level three. Kasani, Shiren, Kagero, Kyoka, and Arashi have been recognized as a team with a strong bond and ability and are allowed to wear white battle attire. I never get bored watching you. I'm developing a greater personal interest in you. I don't know what made you think that, but is deepening our understanding of each other a good thing? Ooh. Wait. I just bought new clothes and then we just get more new clothes? Man, this game. Ooh, that looks cool too. Wait, so this is just a recolor of the Archivist skin outfit. Pretty sure, at least. That's the same design, it's just different color. Interesting. More is good depends what you like better, I guess. I guess we'll change it later on when we get tired of the archivist outfit. Okay. So now we did Harshi's Bond episode. I'm pretty sure we have more in the mail, right? Oh, looks like we got Gemma and Yuito. Okay, let's see. You get yourself into trouble more than I thought you would, Kasane. You need to learn how to avoid that stuff. That being said, I do have the annoying job of running PR, which I hate, but continue to do. It's an example of what happens when you don't stay out of things. You do a good job for hating it so much. You're a totally different person when you do PR. I admire it a little. That's just experience. You'd be able to 
be all chipper in front of the cameras too if you've been doing it since you were a kid. I don't recommend it, of course. Getting good at doing something you hate is nothing to be proud of. It's true. Alright. <clears throat> it's been such a long time since I played that game. It makes me feel young again. You ended up using your psychokinesis on me, though. Oh, that game might still be around here somewhere. The one where you hit a drum along with a rhythm. Do you know... Do you know it? I'd love to show you how good I am with the sticks. Oh, is he talking about, uh... I go... I go know something. I know what game he's talking about, I just don't know the, know the game. I don't know that game and I don't want to see it. I don't care about your silly stick skills, Kagero. Here's the cold shoulder. You shouldn't call it silly until you've seen it. Oh well, we should do this again sometime. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Yama, Kasane, let me thank you again. Or before. Hope we don't fight each other anymore. Lately I found myself going to the abandoned subway a lot. I don't think I'll ever forget... <clears throat> what happened there? I'm really sorry. Gemma, are you still blaming yourself for what happened to my sister? We should talk. We don't have to think about what sides we're on. If you're at the abandoned subway, then wait for me. I'm headed there... Uh, now. Just hope it's a game unless he's talking about a different kind of stick. I mean, knowing Kagero, I'm sure it's, you know... The other stick, too. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still, I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens. And fight until the last other is killed. That sucks. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here. My retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die. Someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Oh boy. Gemma, behind you! Damn. Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, but it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? 
I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life, if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out. Damn. What a way to just finish that Bond episode. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. I shouldn't have said what I... I shouldn't have said I wanted to die. I hope you'll let me apologize again. I've been feeling very unsure of myself lately. I was 8 years old when I was scouted. I li I've lived in the OSF for a long time. I want all of you to have a life with no regrets. I know what you're trying to say, but I don't know how many regrets you'll, uh, you've had in your life, Gemma. I'd like to ask if we get the chance. I'd like to ask if we get the chance. If you want to talk about that, talk about it, that is. Yeah, ask me someday. See you later. Okay. Alright, cool. Yuito. Just what is going on here? Can you please explain all this to me? Did you really kill my father? What are you trying- Why are you trying to kill me too? I don't want to be your enemy without knowing why. If there's something that you just can't tell me, then let me know. I might be able to help somehow. Please, Kasane, this is- This just isn't right. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> and then starts the episode. Blocks Yuito's and Maragio no longer receive messages. There. Oh. This doesn't solve everything, but at least he won't ask me about it. He's someone I may have to kill eventually. I need to make sure so we interact she blocked as seldom him. as possible. Or else I might lose my nerve when the time comes. <sighs> He's kind of strange. He's not like Naomi or Captain Seto. It's not like I found him especially interesting, so why couldn't I just ignore him? Oh well, he can't contact me anymore. For now, I just need to focus on Naomi. That was it? That was just- that was the- that was the Bond episode? What the fuck? Alright, whatever. It was just a small dialogue scene of her blocking Yuito. Alright, I mean, it makes sense, but still. Alright, well, I guess that's gonna be it for the night then. Next time we play this, we will start phase 7, I believe? For the night. Whew. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for tonight's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's stream of Scarlet Nexus. Um, again, we're making a lot of progress in this game, slowly getting back into it after, you know, actually getting back into it, uh, last week, but I do want to continue this more and, uh, 
finish up Kasane's story so we can get both perspectives of the whole one story. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, um tomorrow, no stream of course. It's Friday, so that is my off night. But I'll be back on Saturday and we will continue more Legends Arceus. Doing more, I guess, uh more quests and trying to complete the Pokedex and stuff like that. And then um in case you guys weren't here, um, I guess the last time, I don't remember which stream I said this, but on Mondays, we will be, uh, well, starting this coming Monday, we will start playing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorer of Sky. So that's going to be an interesting, interesting time. Um, it's going to be my first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, as I've never played one. And then if I like Explorer of Sky, then we will try out Rescue Team from there. Um, but yeah, everyone, thank you all for coming by and hanging out and watching. I hope you guys did enjoy tonight's stream. Um, but yeah, until then, everyone, have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time it is for you. And I will see everyone... Explorer of Sky and Darkness are two of the best in the series. Okay. I'll consider uh, Darkness to and see how that's like. But yeah. Until then, everyone, have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time it is for you. And I'll see everyone on Saturday. Goodbye.